Very good morning, children. This is Ma'am Anna, your English teacher, and welcome back once again to the recorded classes. Let's see what we will do in today's session. Before we start, children, let me brief you about today's content. We will learn what is a sentence all about, the two parts of a sentence, the different kinds of sentences with definitions for each of them and lots of examples for you all to understand better. All right. What is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that gives a complete meaning, thought or an idea. For example, I eat an apple. Make sense? Yes. The second one. Table. He a bot. That sounds incorrect. The correct way of putting it is he bought a table. So children, whenever we are talking, we should see that a sentence makes sense. Now, there are four parts of a sentence. The first one, whenever you are starting a sentence, the very first letter should be a capital letter. And all proper nouns should start with a capital letter. Next, we should see that we punctuate. What are punctuations? Either we have to add a full stop at the end of a sentence or a question mark, an exclamatory mark or commas. We will see what the next very important ones are. Every sentence has two essential parts. Do you know what they are? It's the subject and the predicate. The subject of a sentence is the part about which something is being said. Which means the person or thing that we are talking about in a sentence is the subject. What about predicate then? The predicate of a sentence is the part which says something about the subject. Something that is done by the subject is called the predicate. Now let's look at some examples. The flower bloomed. Here in the sentence about whom are we talking? We are talking about the flower. So the flower becomes the subject. What did the flower do? It bloomed. So bloomed becomes the predicate. Bill told everyone about the wreck. So in this sentence, whom are we talking about? We are talking about Bill. What did Bill do? He told everyone that something is being destroyed or something has been damaged. Now look at the sentence. Bob painted whom are we talking about here? Bob. So Bob is the subject. What did he do? He painted. So painted becomes the predicate. Another sentence now. Mary sobbed. Whom are we talking about? Mary. What did she do? She sobbed. Sobbed means cried. So sobbed becomes the predicate. The girls on the team were all good students. Who were good students? The girls on the team. So that becomes the subject. Were all good students? What kind of students they were? They were all good students. So that becomes the predicate. Sue plays the piano well. Sue is the name of a girl. So Sue is the subject. What does she do? Or what does she do? She plays the piano well. So that becomes the predicate. Now children, be very careful when it comes to subject and predicate. Not all the time the subject will be at the beginning of the sentence. Subject can be at the end of the sentence as well.
Let's move on to see how many types of sentences are there. There are four types of sentences. The first one is declarative or assertive sentence. The second one is imperative sentence. The third one is exclamatory sentence. And the last one is interrogative sentence. Let's see what declarative sentences are. Declarative sentence is also called as assertive sentences. A declarative sentence makes a statement. It ends with a period. Period means full stop children. So they tell us something. They give us information and they normally end with a full stop. Now assertive sentence or declarative sentence can be positive or negative. Let's look at these examples. These examples may either give us some information or they might make a statement or they might tell us something. All right. So let's look at the first one. The boy is happy. It's telling us that the boy is happy. I put my money in a piggy bank. This is my camera. The eagle is flying. The people are running. So hope you all have understood what declarative sentences are. Let's look at the second sentence, which is the interrogative sentence. What is an interrogative sentence? Interrogative sentence ask a question. They ask us something. They want information and they always end with a question mark. So hope you all have understood what interrogative sentences are. Now let's look at these examples. May I borrow your newspaper? Did you turn the light off? What is your favorite song? Do you ride the bus? Have you ever visited New York City? So it is just interrogative. The word interrogative means asking questions. So whenever you hear the word interrogative, it is only asking questions and make sure you put a question mark at the end of the sentence. Clear children? Let's look at the third sentence, which is the exclamatory sentence. Now, what is an exclamatory sentence? An exclamatory sentence expresses strong emotion or surprise and they always end with an exclamation mark. Let's look at these examples now. Happy birthday, Tom. Ouch, that hurt. Banana splits are the best desserts. What a beautiful rose. Hope you all have understood this as well. Let's look at the fourth sentence, which is imperative sentence. What is an imperative sentence? An imperative sentence gives a command or makes a request. It ends with a full stop and sometimes it ends with an exclamation mark as well, children. Let's look at these examples. These are either making a request or it is giving a command. Look at the first one. Mom, please tie my shoelace. That's a request. Look at the second one. Open your mouth. That's a command. Please bring the pizza to the table. This is also a request. Mark, do all your homework before you go out to play. That's a command. Do 10 push-ups and 20 jumping jacks. This also is a command. So hope you all have understood what imperative sentences are, children. And now it's my turn to ask you all questions. Are you all ready? Please start typing and send the answers to me or write it down and send it to me, children. Let me see who will be the first one to get a round of applause from me in the group. So here's your question one. How many kinds of sentences did you learn? How many kinds of sentences did you learn? And tell me what are the two parts of a sentence? What are the two parts of a sentence? What is an exclamatory sentence? 
what is an exclamatory sentence and give an example sentence for imperative sentence. Give an example sentence for imperative sentence. Done, children? So, children, here ends the chapter in grammar, which is the sentences. Now, I have taught you all what sentences are. I've taught you all the two parts of a sentence. And I also did teach you all the four sentences with definitions and examples. Hope it was very clear, children. And hope you found this grammar session interesting. In case if you have any doubts, children, always play the video again and again. And still, if you didn't understand or if you can't understand anything, always feel free to call me, children. All right? Now comes your assignments, children, for your classwork. I will be sending definitions via WhatsApp. Kindly copy the same in your grammar class workbook the way I have written. Okay, wherever it is underlined, see that you are also underlined. And wherever I have drawn line, see that you all draw line the same way. And write it neatly, children. Don't scratch. Don't overwrite. Okay, please see that you all keep your class workbooks neat and tidy. And for your homework, I will be sending a worksheet via the WhatsApp. Please see that you do it in your homework book, children. Once again, I repeat. Please see that you do it in your homework. Children, hope you all understood clearly what you have to do for your classwork and homework. Isn't it? Now, until we meet in the next session, this is Ma'am Anna signing off. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.